my friends, welcome back to the vlog. It's been a minute since I put out a vlog. There's the usual excuses, you know, we're getting into the holiday season. Things have been crazy at work. 2020 in general has been banana town. But also, I've kind of gotten into something new that I've been putting some time into, figuring out, and I wanted to share a little bit of that with you guys today. So, check out what we've got on the other side of my desk, just over yonder. What? And what? We got some scooters here. I picked up for myself a Honda Ruckus. And over here, we've got Ashley! Ashley! Hi. <laughs> Tell them what you won. What, what do you got here? Mm-hmm. Honda Metropolitan, it's wonderful. Look how cute it is. Yeah, it's super cute. Very you. It's very me. We got scooters! Mm -hmm. We both got scooters. Nice. This is awesome. We've been having a blast riding together. Got any plans for yours? What are you gonna do here? Yes, I'm wrapping the design or whatever this is called. It's gonna be a teal. Okay, so we're yeah. gonna do some color Yeah, changes. we're gonna wrap it and then with this, the seat, I'm going to reupholster. Yours was in pretty dang good shape when yes. we got it. You haven't had to do much. Mine, why I haven't mentioned this yet, is I had to do a fair amount just to get it going. So it was technically running when I picked it up, but it started really rough and it had some issues. The previous owner stretched it out and did a motor swap with the GY6 engine, which is exactly what I wanted to do. So I got a head start on my project, getting one that was already done that way. But when you inherit someone else's project, you're always going to encounter some issues. I ended up pretty much going over the whole thing. We put a whole new carburetor on it. We put a new ignition coil, a new spark plug. What else did we do? The exhaust, oh my god, look at the exhaust it came with. Where is that piece of junk? Yeah, we just got this over here. This was the exhaust it came with and it was just held on with zip ties. So we had to yank that off and look at this beautiful Yoshimura, I don't know if I'm saying that right, carbon fiber beauty of a pipe. So we got it running great now and there's just a few other things that I wanna get done around the bike. The thing I wanna get done today is redoing the lights. Look, can you even see this little dot back here? This is a poor excuse for a taillight. I do not feel like this is visible. Hold on, we turn it on. That's it. Can you even, it's, I'm telling you that you cannot see that. I do want to point out just how amazing my taillight is already. Yeah, you yeah. got, everything yours was great. Yeah, it's yours been great. fine. Yeah. Mine was a little bit of a mess. Yes. It's gonna be smooth. Except we did change the motor oil and then the transition, the transition, is that right? No, the gear oil, the yeah. gear oil. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which yeah, we did a little too up. We got, we got yeah. the pump here and we got the cat. You were a big help. She was not a big help. She tried to drink the oil. <laughs> we had to kick her out of the room. It looks sick. Wait, hit the brakes. We got flashing for the brakes and then do a turn signal. What? It's like sequential. Come on, it's pretty cool. Loving the new rear light and now the, the front lights, the, there's nothing wrong with them, very functional, but they're ugly. We've got even more goodies. This is an LED bar that is way smaller than those giant reflectors and put out less heat, draw less power, and I think will actually be brighter. <laughs> We got everything removed from the front and we even got the new headlight bracket installed. Here are the stock connectors, so the turn signals are these guys and then this one is the headlight and the horn. Anytime I'm doing projects on cars or now these scooters, I always want everything to be kind of like as factory as possible and use connectors so that things are still serviceable, not just like cutting off factory connectors or anything like that. So Ashley is going through this harness and getting the horn wiring separated from the headlight wiring and then we will see what we can do about a connector. It looks so much cleaner 
and we got it all set up so it clips in, very serviceable. Boom! And it's so bright! <laughs> horn still! Sorry, cats. The horn like fit really nicely in there where this vent is, so the sound still clearly gets out. The turn signals came off with the headlights, so the last thing we gotta figure out is that. And then we'll have every light replaced with LEDs, way brighter, way more visible for me, way more visible to other people, so it's safer and it looks way better. Sophie, stop eating zip ties! Stop it! Stop! Why does she This is how you guys get kicked out. <laughs> Check. I, I think they're all right. I love the front light. Love the brake light. The triangular front turn signals. They're they're okay. They're okay. For now, they get the job done. So now we're gonna put a little time into Ashley's bike. We got some teal, like vehicle wrap. It's yeah. like a minty teal. We're gonna cover up all these blue graphics. That those are nice graphics though. So instead of permanently covering them up with paint, we're gonna use a wrap so that if we ever wanted to remove it or change it later. It's gonna be easier. Oh yeah, that looks so good. I love that color. Ah, oh, I actually was wanting to do mine in that color, so she's getting no! to it. I know, I can't Stop. now, I can't now. looking so good. This is the biggest thing I've ever wrapped. Absolutely a two-person job. We nailed it! Those are the hardest pieces, I think. I'm hoping they were the biggest. So we started with those in case it wasn't gonna work for some reason, but we got those. Now we just need to get, I just need to get this front piece. It is the next day. Getting the wrap done took a lot longer than I thought it would. It was it was a bit more difficult. I've never wrapped such large and curvy pieces, but as you can see, the front came out amazing. So happy with that. We were even able to like get it in around like the headlight opening. That's great. The hardest piece ended up being this little this little upper cup. As you can see, there's like some pretty complex curves and I just I just couldn't make it happen. No matter what I tried, I just couldn't like get it all around. Maybe you could do it with multiple pieces, but I couldn't figure out how to make that happen. So we ended up giving up and just hitting it with some silver spray paint. And it, you know what? It came out pretty good actually. So we'll leave it like that for now. Maybe we'll change it. And then also we ended up doing something with the seat. I've got it covered up with a hoodie for now because I don't want to reveal it till we get it out in the sun, but it's pretty cool. That was also very difficult and we worked like pretty late into the night with the, the, the electric staple gun just trying to get it reupholstered, but it looks good. So both bikes are done. We got my lights done. We've completely transformed the look of Ashley Scooter. Let's, uh, let's get them out and actually go for a ride. I feel like we, you can't see the seat effect yet. Look at this. Boom! Oh, oh my gosh, it's so sick. It's so crazy. Oh my gosh, I love that. It's so you. Yeah, do you like it? I love it. The teal, this thing looks so fire. So fire. Not gonna lie, I kind of think Ashley's bike is cooler than mine. It's cooler, it looks better. Mine sounds better, start yours. Start it? Yes. It's so quiet. Yes. No, let me show you how a real bike sounds. <laughs> there we go. I can't even tell if you're in the dawn anymore. It's so quiet. 
Come on, that sounds so good. It does not sound like a single cylinder. We're gonna let the bikes warm up for a little bit because it's, it's pretty cold today. It's a cold day in Florida December. It's 45 degrees. That is actually cold for me. So we're bundled up. We're gonna let the bikes warm up. I'm gonna grab my GoPro, um, try and leave the camera behind, and we're gonna go for a little cruise.